to help a queen celebrate. Oh, come on, don't hate. Oh, my. You're going to want somebody to cheer for you when you get your hair permed. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. <laughs> You're going to go to Africa. Do it Nandi's way. Where you're on assignment. You ain't plotting with Juju Jr. <laughs> Big Juju. Little Juju. Huh? <laughs> Amen. And it's phenomenal. When you when you are on assignment. But we're gonna learn. Have a seat, CJ. Or you get pop. All right, grandma, go to go to work. No, 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 you only do that one time. After that. Oh, Good thing got a little speed, but put that hand on that. Hey, man, we ain't raising no criminal. That's right. You don't wait till they 10 or 11. It's a wrap then. Right. Go to juvie and sell those kids up for murder right now, 15, 16 years old. You know the first thing going to happen, they're going to get turned over first. Oh, man, we just going, man, let's handle your business, mama. There you go. Put that Jody from Jamaica on him. He's going to be okay. That's not child abuse. No. That's legacy building. Okay. Teach them earlier that the world don't revolve around you. Exactly. And their consequences. Amen. Back to Queen Nandi. Amen. She is in the midst of us ascending. She had to be tested at, at Howard University, where a lot of Sadiri black folk go. And she was the Crystal Simpson Award winner while she was there. Yes, yes. And she escaped. <laughs> she had a true, a, a tremendous role model in her mother who sacrificed her heart, loneliness. I don't know how old Nandi will have to be to realize the sacrifice her mother made. Huh? So don't be surprised if this king... You can't convince me no king is not going to find this girl. That's right. And her mama coming here dripping with gold. Yeah. Not gold flakes. Not gold paint. But her mother gave her a tremendous example. I ain't trying to mess with y'all about am because I got an early flight. But some of you quit because your parent quit. Mm -hmm. I always tell parents, don't teach your child how to quit, give up. Because they will follow that to a T. Some things as a parent, and I, I'm so thankful the Bell family, they're on vacation. they in South Dakota, Wyoming. They, amen. A priest is supposed to lead his family. Amen. 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 Uh, but if you quit, <laughs> ask anyone in the, health, in, in the mental health profession. Those kids with issues and problems come from a long line of quitters. Her mama didn't quit. No. Mama kept going, crying, whatever, mind fights, whatever, kept going. Yeah. 
And now she's going to reap the benefits. She's going to read. She's going to read Psalm 126. Now, the saints are proud of you, Nandi. Yes. Amen. The saints. I don't know about no members. Can't you see Crystal smiling? Might be a cloud out there. That's Crystal coming by. The saints. Ask Davion to get the get the forward by Bray. I don't care what members do. They just, I see him and I don't see him. But the saints are glad that you are ascending. Amen. Amen. Your trajectory. Yes. Huh? Uh, God, the way, the way that house laid out, God thinks something of you, man. That fool laid out, y'all. Y'all ain't seen. That fool laid out. But I got a word for you tonight, Queen Nandi. Before I catch my flight to the Windy City, Lou Rawls, Windy City. Satan don't care. He don't care. That's why we're going to speak a blessing over your life. Amen. You're going to have everybody lay hands on you because I don't know where those hands been. That's right. That's right. But we're going to speak a blessing. Well, Bob, don't lay, lay hands suddenly on no man. But tonight, we ain't worried about not him. I don't know where your hands been. All right? Because if you know anything, and that's what they learned yesterday, people to come to relationship class. If you know anything about Satan, he is so confident in, confident in those three punches Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. How many know he ain't working on something to try to stop her? No, uh, and what she said in Facebook is profound. You got to, when you're trying to believe God and hear from God, you got to watch who you talk to. Uh, and I put on there for a reason, everything I do, I do on purpose. I put on there uh, just so somebody... You know, I don't want I don't want them going home not knowing where I stand. <laughs> right. You can find out where I stand immediately. But man, I'm on, I gotta read this. Cause she that last paragraph. But you have a devil who don't care. And if he came at Jesus, come he gonna come at everyone with Christ in them. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right, let me read this last part in case you didn't pay your uh, phone bill. Uh, she said, listen, I love the way she writes. Man, she spelled every word right, and it's all in order, complete sentences. All right. Uh, I think I'm learning more and more about the importance of knowing when to speak and when to hear. That's profound by itself. Right. It's hard to simultaneously do both, at least for me. I also, is that paragraph, I also tend to get quiet when God is moving on my behalf because I never know who is commissioned to talk me out of my destiny. That's right. It's usually the people who have no idea they're doing it. Talk you out of your destiny. So you know me, Makai is put on favor. Like the man who tried to talk me out of starting Grace Apostolic Church. Now, 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 okay, if that was the case, where was Betty gonna go? Who who who, who what where was Darnetta going? All right. Huh? Who would tell Cynthia, get rid of that hematoma on top of your head? What would Deborah was tired of being an OG out there? What would Deborah gonna go if I let somebody talk me? A couple of, let me be nice. Rudy Pooh pastors who wanted to use my gift to build their legacy. And both of them, the one who tried to talk me out, another one. I bet they ain't seen this many people all year. Hmm. 
Okay. Who's in your ear? Uh, did, did the serpent get in Eve's inner ear? Yes, he did. He was paying attention on Sunday. That's what I was talking about. Uh, yes, he did. Did he use her word and she end up talking herself out of paradise? He sure did. And did she not go and feed it to her husband? Yes. Did God say, oh, you kids do the best y'all can. That's church you're coming from. Your best y'all. Did, 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 did he get them up out of there? He got them up out of there. All right. So that was profound. And I didn't read nowhere where she was disrespectful. She just cut them off on that inner ear like I'm going where they've never been. Right. They don't, some do know what they're doing. Okay. Some don't. Okay, the, the, the one man, they weren't trying to hurt me. They just wanted to use me because, you know, it's, it's, it's bad to have a gift and not know you have it. Somebody else will see your gift and go, huh. All right. Is that right, my hey, so, man, I knew I could do Sunday school. I really started grace like it was a Sunday school class. I knew I could do that. No one could talk me out of that. I said, just be a big Sunday school class. Uh, but they saw other things. And the rest I put on Facebook is history. Uh, so she cut them off. Now, here, here's going to be your test, Nandi. Like, when they see God, bless, man, man, the fact that those people held that home for you when other people wanted because they said Woo. that you knew God. Man, that yeah. by, I don't need no more convincing, yeah. but I don't count. <laughs> See, if, you, if you're not crazy like me and they come back later talking about, I knew God was going to do it for you. And I said, I'm going to cut them off. I'm like, no, you didn't. Right. I said, I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be better than me. Okay? And you'd be like, no, you didn't either. You threw all kind of doubt, huh? What about COVID? What about sin? Sin and kill more folk than COVID. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. If there was a vaccine for jack leg men, some of y'all should have born and had them inject you. <laughs> some of y'all like, now you want to talk about my man. <laughs> huh? There was no vaccine for that. I'm just, I can see you mad through your mask. Your mask can't even hide that. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the beauty, Nandi, is that you're going in Jesus' name. Right? And I'm going to show you the scripture. We for you. The saints are for you. But Satan don't care. No, he doesn't. Matthew chapter 4. He don't care. We're going to speak a blessing over your life. We're going to ask that the angels with swords drawn. I don't want nobody to lose, but they'll lose their life trying to stop you. Swords drawn. Hmm? Angels at every door. You go in there by yourself. You ain't meeting Juju or uh, uh, Big Juju, Little Juju. Little Uzi Vert, Little Uzi Perverted. Huh? That an angel will be at every door, every opening. You will be walking around there. If, if she about to go to another continent, y'all, yes, and live by herself. Yes. Huh? I didn't say she was going to Wyoming. <laughs> she ready to go to another continent. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. A young woman. No fear. God ain't ready. You was crying on the way to Kansas City. Another continent. Because I trust God. Yes. Not going in my own name. Huh? In a way, it's a type of John the Baptist. She gonna go and scout it out for us, and we coming in May. Amen. Right. May, uh, uh. <laughs> Me and Pastor Linda, we were booked. We was going. Then this COVID came up. 
Well, I was gonna go with y'all, but since y'all going with that, you know, ain't, no, ain't nobody gonna miss no sleep. You stay right where you are. She like John to go scout it out for us. Amen. But I have to build her up and let her know Satan don't care. Matthew yep. chapter 4, and then I'm going to yep. go wash my car, the one I'm going to take to the airport. Because I don't even want it dirty, even though I ain't driving it. I ain't studying you. Matthew chapter 4. So what happened was, I hear you, baby. Uh, what, what happened was, Matthew chapter 4, he kept coming at Jesus. Read real quick, Maylee. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted to the devil. <laughs> Y'all miss it. Of the Spirit to the wilderness to undergo temptation. Mm -hmm. Somebody being tempted right now, just look at it as a trial. You're not going to fail God. Amen. Huh? Amen. Quit talking to people who really want you to fail God. Right, right. Uh, and lean on word. Get out of your emotion. Right? It's all to be tested. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder if God going to send me to Rwanda. You couldn't be trusted at Monroe. <laughs> Monroe. You have trouble now at Walmart on Ames. <laughs> you on a wall? I go to Africa. Okay. Uh, read. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights... He and was, Satan didn't care. Like, all right, oh, you hungry now? Okay. You hungry? Coming at you. This is Jesus. So the Holy Ghost is Christ in you, right? Yes. So he coming after the Jesus in you. Right, right. So think about it. If you don't have no Holy Ghost, you Skittles. You easy pickings. Read. He was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he the said. tempter. Read. He said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Look at that, hit it. First, lust of the flesh. Yeah. Prove it. Uh, <laughs> so if Satan will tell Jesus to prove it, you ain't no telling what he's going to tell us, right? Amen. You got to be sharp. You got to come back with words. So he came back with words. Yes. What book did he come back with in his defense? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Okay. Chapter 8. Thank you, doctor. Mm -hmm. Read. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread if alone. If you don't have a word, you don't have an answer. Write that down. Yes, sir. You ain't got a word. You ain't got no answer. It, 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 that is what messed up he. She misquoted. Mm -hmm. I can't touch the tree lest I die. Both parts were wrong, right? Yes, sir. So he pushed her into the tree, uh -huh. and she didn't die. Like, no, see, told you. And it was over with after that. Right. You could have sent, called that Uber to get him up out of paradise. Then she's going to feed her husband when all he had to do, Chaz, was look at his rib and go, I got some more rib for that pepper. I'm sorry, I ain't eating that. Now, your husband may not want to eat your food because you can't cook. All right? But you got to you gotta <laughs> stay single and learn not to offer your husband your emotion. That's right. And your rebellion. Come on. Or your bad attitude. Mm, yes, sir. Or your fear. Or your low self-esteem. Can I keep going? Yes. Or your insecurity. Come on, Bishop. Amen. You're right. This is a beautiful young lady who is secure. And what she brings to you? She ain't trying to run into Prince insecure. No. Hmm? Mm hmm. Therefore, when, 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 because he going to, they, how many of y'all know he ain't going to be able to miss her? Okay. Not at all. <laughs> uh, Immediately reach up for help. Call your mama, call, call, call anyone left in the church that's kept. Amen. <laughs> Don't call nobody thirsty. No. No, no. <laughs> Uh, let me hurry up there. Read. Yes. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Everybody understand that? If you don't have a word, you don't have an answer. You don't have an answer. Uh -huh. Satan will take a, a, a washcloth and wipe your tears away and he come at you. Because he don't care. You ain't nothing but a little piece of flesh. Uh -huh. uh, he does not want you to reach your destiny. He did not want you. If he'd have known man, you're man. 
you could have went to, to, to Northwest Texas free. Am I right? Yeah, you're about free, Bailey free. Right. Instead of that Bentley that your mama had to pay, but look what he came home with. Yes. And the arrogancy yeah. of purpose. Yes. Huh? Yeah, but what about the cause? Man, that ain't nothing but. That's a download, and he'll have that thing, that check in his hand. All right? And thank God, I remember, she, I know exactly where I was when she called me and said he was accepted. Now, see, see if I was a hating pastor, uh, a daughter, I hate that little voice they use. Daughter, you know, that's a little bit too much. I believe God. <laughs> Man, shut that nonsense up. I'm having a mind fart right now, huh? Okay. Shut that nonsense up. Uh -huh. mm? You believe God, amen. You're going to limit somebody to your lack of faith. And some of those people try to be spiritual. They try to spiritualize fear. I'm going to talk to somebody. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They're afraid. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. They're afraid of their own shadow. They're afraid of trusting God. They're afraid of walking away from abuse. They come can't on, deal with people on. in their own family. Come How on. in the world are they going to counsel you about yes. God when they can't even deal with folk in their own family? Come on. That's good. Because they're afraid of fancy word ramifications. But they're going to counsel you on your life mm -hmm. with all those damnable family secrets. Yes, sir. That they won't deal. Man, oh, won't man. Deal with. Take it. Come on with it. Huh? Yes. Why are you going to counsel me? Man, a raggedy brother try to come and tell me he's going to try to be my counselor. Man, you whoremongering. I've been the same woman 44 years, ain't cheating on her. You ain't got nothing to say to me, right. but bye. Right. I'll say the good part. You say bye. Right. <laughs> you going to counsel me. You know, dripping faucet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Get that Delta faucet fixed. Mm -hmm. Can't counsel me, you raggedy living. And then got offended. <laughs> I don't know why you offended. Man, I left the right to restaurant. Say, don't you ever. Good. They can't come to this church. Good, good. Say, man, look, you know what? Uh -huh. Hey, I got to protect my faith. That's right. I got to right. protect my faith, my yes. sanity. Yes. Amen. Yes. Huh? I don't just let it know. And you're going to learn not to let every spirit in your house right. or answer every phone. huh? Right. You're going to learn to get rid of voicemail so folk can't tell you. Amen. Because once you hear it. Yes, sir. How in the world you have a beautiful wife like that if you sit there and listen to whoremongers? Mm -hmm. All the fine twelves walking around that school with talent. Right. Huh? You had to have somebody who, before she met you, signed a no compete clause. I ain't compete with none of them. Yes, I know what is. I bring. Yes, it to is. The <laughs> Hold on, let me back up a little bit. I get the bounce right first. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey I told you. Too high? All right, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all been hurt if he'd have brought somebody beat the band? Man, man, I see Lisa already balling her fist up. <laughs> Somebody the whole church can't stand. Like, what alley you get her out of? Ooh. Huh? Ooh. But because he went in Jesus' name. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He, walked, he let all the freaks that came out at night, daytime, lunchtime, walk on by. And came home with a woman of destiny. Now they in paradise. Yeah. And we want Nandi to do the. We're not going to visit no broke down Nandi in May. Thank God for discipline. Thank God for telling yourself no. Thank God for not being easily accessible. Amen. 24 7, 7 to 11, never close. It means to be kept by God. 
She's a cloud of witness for everybody creeping, sleeping, peeping, and everything else. Dragging no piece of man around her with no confidence. She living in a bad, get on Facebook, a bad crib. And you know what I mean? I liked every picture. Instead of laying up in somebody's grandma's basement in a house, grandma about to lose. Let me calm down now. Let's go back to the word. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Read. And when the tempter came to him, he uh, said. Who, who's coming? The tempter. The tempter coming. Yes. Huh? Oh, the tempter's coming. Yeah. That's why you get well versed in a form of godliness. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Some of y'all, he, 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 he loved the Lord. No, he don't. He wouldn't be trying to bed you if he loved the Lord. Right. Right. Huh? That form of God. Remember that dude I caught upstairs at right. with that form? Yeah. I took that form off of him when he, he pinned himself in that corner. Yep, he did. He should have been on that front row near that door. That form. Talking to two girls that didn't know they went to the same church. <laughs> Watch that form of godliness. Write this down. Jesus talk, but no Jesus walk. Because you know me, far as, and when you single, I don't care what you can love the Lord. You can have your little, little bracelet on. What would Jesus do? Huh? But whatever you believe, it's 12 inches below your navel. That's your true beliefs. 12 inches. Give or take a few inches. All right. All right. They're your belief system right there. Mm-hmm. Everything else you say is Skittles. Thank you, Ty. Ty got me in the back of the vestry with a hand clap. That's all I need. I don't need no more. Read, read, read. I don't need no more. Read. Then the devil taketh him up. Uh oh. What is they learned yesterday? You cannot be afraid of heights. Right. Huh? So Queen Latifah was on the roof getting high, setting it off. You can get up a little higher. You ain't got to be high. You huh? That's right. That's you don't need right. drugs. Don't be afraid of a high income. Hmm? Right. A phone number you can get because of the God you serve. That was quite a compliment that, that man. We wanted you to have the house because you believe in God. We want to, your God got you in that house. That's right. That's right. Hmm? From and, 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 and I don't believe that's going to be the end of your heights. You're going higher and higher. That's why we're going to extend our right hand and take her, God, as high. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Y'all, man, forget. Y'all, some of y'all are going to get on her lift. Amen. Because God going to take her high. She's going to be able to lift you up. Isn't that why some of us ain't never reached nowhere? Because the people who should have been there failed. Right, right, right. The people who should have got us there wouldn't got booed up. With some spirit. I had my daughter here yesterday. I told her, oh, you, 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 you got to make it. You got people attached to you. Hmm? Hmm. So don't be afraid of heights. Don't be afraid of where God's going to take you. As long as you're going in Jesus' name. The only time you're afraid of height is when you're doing it on your own. And you're trying to prove something, and you'll do it at any cost. You'll step on folk at any cost. Come on, that's good. Hmm? Teach. I would have rather on 9-11 been in the basement in the mail room than been on the top floor. I know that's right. Because I done stepped on folk. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you Karan Johnson put in for a job? Right. And, 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 and he didn't get the job? 
Right. And he might have been sad, but he was happy. Not on nine ten, he was sad. Right. On nine eleven, come on, happy as hell. Okay. Yes, sir. So you don't want to get there by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Now that girl could use her beauty. She ain't trying to do that. Her beauty, your charisma, your talent, whatever it is. If you let that get you there, then you know what happens when Satan gets tired of using you. Oh, y'all, y'all want, huh? Uh, I remember the one who was on top with Lil' Kim. Pretty girl, where she messed herself up. Right. She looked like something that had been sleeping in water. <laughs> man, 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 you, you get to pulling and tugging on your skin. You, you, you smiling and breaking wind. Your whole system messed up. You ever see little Kim when she was a, a doll? Here comes Foxy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> she gone. Nicki Minaj shows up. Yep. Then Cardi B shows up. Mm -hmm. Cardi B, take her shoe off, try to not try to hit Nicki Minaj. The only part of her that's real, her forehead. <laughs> Then out in there, here come Megan the horse. <laughs> now you got JT, Young Miami. Now the little girl, little Chloe Bailey, pretty girl. Now she want to get buck wild. Next, they're going to try to get H-E-R. Man, man, they just, just, just go through. Man, Satan get tired of using the same piece of flesh. Some of the people that we knew were on top, not even on top anymore. Huh? We're going to put a blessing on Nani. She's going to stay on top. She's going to die on top, y'all. Hey, man, huh? Somebody write this down. I'm about ready to go home. You want to live so Satan can't get rid of you. He get rid of folk. Don't want to use them no more. Right. You want to live. So he comes at Jesus and he makes some offers. Read. Taketh him up into the holy city. All right, now you want to go to church. Read. And setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. Which one is that? That's the pride of life. Mm -hmm. Prove it. Cast yourself down. <laughs> Read. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Misquoting. Here we go. Now he misquoting. Psalm 91, mm -hmm. misquoting. Read. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot Man. against the stone. All right, we understand Satan trying to put a twist. But come on, Eve, you should have said, honey, mm -hmm. keep your mouth shut. Read. Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, again, the devil taketh him oh, up. This is what I left yesterday. Again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for Nanda, even before then, because Quinny's going to be there for a little bit until she gets settled in. Huh? That man, when her mom get on that plane to come back, and that enemy try to show up and scare her, ain't no grace. That Bastard is too far away. Hey, Amen, whatever. She's staying right there in that beautiful, hey, amen, open room and say, Satan, I see you. Yes, sir. I yes, see you. Yes, sir. She going in the face of voodoo and everything else. I see you. You should have killed me when I was in D.C. Amen. I see you. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Ain't no call to home, come get me. Can y'all, hey amen, what's that thing on Facebook? Cash at me, uh, go fund me and bring me home. Huh. No. I see you. Uh-huh. So what they learned yesterday, because it came at Ariel. She's by herself. She reached up for help. Because she could have called the wrong person. Watch this. Who loved her, but when she told them the demons were showing up, could have got quiet. <laughs> Which means they scared too. Right. Which means they trying to hang the phone up. Because now they seeing things. <laughs> With all the lights on. <laughs> I 
I know some of y'all sleep with a nightlight. I'm not talking about you tonight. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I know you, sleep, I know you sleep with a nightlight on. Three or four of them. All right. She reached up for help. Now that cough, was that you? Uh, 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 so, so I told her what to do. So she learned yesterday to keep messing with you. Go on, have Bible class. Try to show up. It's spirits. Try to show up. Oh, have a seat. Draw a circle. Now, I know you're scared of circles. Have a seat. Have a good old year. Better sit your ha-ha behind now. Turn to Deuteronomy. <laughs> Chapter 8. That's right. Huh? Who got that Bible in their hand? I know y'all got it on your phone. Who got a Bible? Hey, man, y'all ain't carry Bibles no more. I'm all so antiquated. Uh, well, you got a Bible in your hand? I'm going look, to look at you. Ain't that precious. <laughs> all the time, Lonnie, he'll walk around with a word on it. Just be reading. Reading, reading. You woke me up. Don't get sleepy now, devil. Look, hey, pay attention. You think I'm making this? No, pay attention. I've had him try to scare me. Man, I, I live in a big house. So I said, uh, you late. You should have killed me a long time ago. You know what I do? I immediately go back to the stuff God brought me through. Like, no, nah, you're going to show up now. Come on now. Hey, man, you should when I was crying, when my face was in the flow. That's when you should have did me. Man, you, you. You hear me? No crying, no nothing. Word. Word. Word, no emotions. Word. Oh, you brought a friend this time. You sit down too. Oh, uh, not scared, huh? Oh, you brought a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, some of y'all so glad you ain't want to go home. Let's more rewinding now. You so scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happened with all that Bible class you miss. You ain't got no word. You got emotion. Where she's going, she has to have word. Amen. That is the voodoo sinner, yep. huh? Yep. <laughs> the man, you, listen to some old Bishop Bismarck, and listen to some of those. You know he ain't no liar. Man, you almost get refilled. Some of the stuff he be saying, huh? Because watch this now. I'm gonna mess with you before I go home. The other side of miracles is what? Witchcraft. In the end time, they're going to be doing all crazy kind of stuff. But God is sending a young, how old are you, 20? 25-year-old. In the heart of voodoo by herself. Come on, before you get sleepy. Come here, baby. I want everybody who believe God. If you don't believe God, you get, you, you. Everybody extend their right hand. Come down here with her, mother. Come on, Queenie. She came out of your womb. You could have walked in that room and killed that girl and just now be getting out. In your house. Around your child. You heard what I said? Could have killed her. Out of your anger. If you fight the way you dance, she wasn't going to last long. But you didn't. Hurt you to your core. But look at what you got standing next to you now. <laughs> now, now, my huh? Huh? Now, some of us who are not afraid, who believe God, me and Karen, we going to ask God, the angels, to kill now whatever they think, they think is waiting on you. Today, kill them now. I didn't say hurt. Me and Ken want whoever that Satan commission, amen, to kill it. It's a big deal, y'all, you ain't heard. It's a big deal. This is an assignment. This is a big deal. 
She's going to be by herself in a big house. The wind blowing noises. But she will not be afraid. Go ahead on, Karen. Sanctify that whole house. Angels with swords drawn. Already slaying what think they, they think is going to stop this girl. She's coming in the name of the Lord. She's coming in the full authority of Jesus Christ. You bet not despise her youth. She's coming in the spirit of Timothy. You bet not despise. She's going to flip some demons. She's going to send some demons back. And children are going to get filled with the Holy Ghost. God's going to give her the interpretation of tongues so that she'll know between the Holy Ghost and their own dialect. The laying on of hands. All the fivefold gifts bestowed on her. Oh, that's what happens when God can trust you. You're going in his name. In that right hand. Word. No fear. Word. Come on, somebody in the spirit. Walk around that place. You got to go get it up on Facebook. Walk around every room. Huh? To the point, your spirit is so strong, she can call your name and say, I see you, May Lee. May Lee, sit here in Omaha, but I see your, I see your spiritless shell in here. Sword drawn. Thank you for sending angels. Amen. I see you, Michelle. I see you, Michelle and Tim. Amen. I see you, Tim, stopping that man from coming. Amen. Oh, come on, man. We gone now. I see your spirit. Yes, sir. Just listen. Her womb is full. Those children are, those children didn't even want her to come back, to leave. But she's coming back for the children. Thank God, thank God. Those children, barefoot, snotty nose, abused, thrown away. But Queen Nandi is coming. And he has to be a special man of God, not a trickster, not a one who sees the beauty, but don't see her passion for kids. Is Holland asleep? Can you, can you step away without her crying? She's your daddy's girl. Go, go down there, son, because I want you to lay hands. I want a Dre to come in her life. Amen. Y'all heard me. I want a Dre to come in her life. Huh? Mom, put your hand on your daughter's shoulder. Dre, you put your hand on top of Queenie's hand. That's the kind of man I want to come in her life. Huh? Any other man besides that kind of man, send one of your angels to slay him. 
Y'all, y'all play too much. Amen. I said, send one of your angels to slay him right now before he even gets started. Because the demon might have told him something that's coming that's going to destroy us. It ain't my fault you came for a regular Bible class. Should have stayed home. Told you we were celebrating. This is a celebration. A celebration. Don't be surprised if somebody's standing there right now going to end up following and you're going to go over there and you're going to sit at her feet and she's going to train you to do what she's doing. Man, this thing ain't done in no corner. Hey, man, this is a launching. Simona, send that spirit. One of your angels to slay that man. Whatever's trying to stop 90. Wherever he at right now. Uh Slay him. He's a Malachite. Remember Saul got in trouble because he wouldn't kill everything? I didn't understand that. To have found out the reason why they told him to kill all the animals and everything that is because they practice voodoo and they can make animals become certain things. Man, I said, oh, my goodness. That's why I said kill everything. Because they were picking off the people that were trailing. That's why when you come to church and you trailing behind, you setting yourself to get picked off. And the Malachites was taking all the weak folk. And Saul was supposed to kill everything. And I found out because they were masters of voodoo. And they could change shapes and stuff. You know God know what he's doing. God know what he's doing. Come on, let's thank God for that man. Amen. Let's thank God. She got to know she's special. She has to know her love is special. She has to know her womb is special. Her call, all it takes is one bad relationship. One, one, not two, one. You may be seated. Thank you. She's going in word. Huh? I'm about finished. Yeah, she's all part of our worldwide. We already got one in Japan. Yes, yes. And Elika's 16 years old today. Wow. Yes, Elika is 16 today. Thank you, God. Whew. Hallelujah. Finish up again. He came at him again. Again, the devil taketh him up. Into an exceeding high mountain. Uh oh, uh oh. Where, where, where? High mountain. And offered him what? And showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Now, watch this, Don. Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus say, Oh, you lying. You ain't got nothing to show. What did I tell you? You can get offered. Yeah. A kingdom. Yes, yes. Go ahead, straighten that out. You got to train them how to be in church. <laughs> don't, hey, them y'all was buck wild too. This is, this is, don't, don't, don't hold your breath. You got to be trained. Amen. Man. <laughs> yeah, they just have it. Have it. How you do it? <laughs> See, some of y'all, hey amen. Ain't nothing that a switch and a paint stick wouldn't take care of. Right. 
No, I didn't say. I, say, I, I didn't say extension cord because some of y'all got to twitching now. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. You 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 twitching when I say extension cord already. See, some of y'all blessed. Y'all grew up with parents didn't take no mess. If you yawn, they say, "What'd you say?" <laughs> that good parenting. Anybody want to thank God for that parent? You you ain't go to prison. You learn how to keep a job. <laughs> you ain't homeless. Don't worry, everything that's buck wild out there in those streets. <laughs> if you're going to be wild, at least live in Arizona where you can live on the street all year. Don't try that in Nebraska. Come late November, you're going to repent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're going to learn to say, I'm sorry, with your chief chatting like buckwheat sitting on some ice cubes. Nice. <laughs> That hair going to hit you. All right, what was I talking about? On the Again. Um, he offered him a kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised if some Satan sends somebody with wealth they ain't seen in the United States. See, you're, you've been to Paris. You you, did you go to Paris with us? You didn't go. From Paris, <clears throat> I'm getting some money exchanged, and I'm like, what's taking this man? So he's African. I'm in line 45 minutes. Now, who got that kind of money? An African. Then I heard that, that machine. <laughs> that ain't counting coins. Some of y'all didn't know what I'm talking about. Like, what, what, what are you doing? Count that money. Count that money. We know. Had on regular clothes. And I had a backpack, man, and just, I was in line 45 minutes. But he ain't good enough for Nandi. Oh, they, hmm? And you can't play with that kind of spirit. No. Mm -mm. All of a sudden, some custom, watch it, some custom G500. What's the one that only got three in the world? I wish Kenny was here. What's that one 500? That one, that, about that half the ground. It's crazy. There's only like six in the world. He, he ought to bring one of them. There's only six in the world. They're a million apiece. Uh-uh. Have his servants line up on camels and everything to impress you. Don't, man. Oh, your, yeah. your, your inbox may say, you got to be kidding. Uh-huh. This dude offered me a palace. Huh? To the point where my place is the size of the bathroom. Y'all see, you see, y'all been looking at too many bad pictures. <laughs> what? Huh? Some of them been skimming oil money since. If you think Bezos and them are the rich people, you are crazy. They might be the, the wealthiest legal folk. <laughs> right. <laughs> he still ain't good enough. Trust me, we ain't praying for you because I'm trying to fill the time up. He coming with something. Oh, yeah. Huh? And we have confidence in the God in you. Yes, sir. And it won't be no, no, I'm not sure. Let me pray over. And don't call no broke person. Girl, I'm on the way. Can you cash at, at me? I'll help you bring that back to Omaha. You come in there with an Audi bag. Just, just embarrassing, folks. <laughs> Audi bag and some dusty Air Force Ones. <laughs> that used to be white. <laughs> Never did Jesus tell you. You lying, Satan. You can't find that nowhere in your Bible. You ain't got all, all that to offer. Yes, no. he does. Mm -hmm. If you don't think he's still in... Just look up the, the Met Gala and look at those outfits and those spirits behind them. They'll tell you. See, some of y'all don't keep up. Read. And said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou will Where fall Where does down. Jesus say, you lying? And he said nothing. Mm -hmm. Our Queen Nandi cannot be bought. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
and don't have nobody joining you down there who can be bought. Been looking at gold flakes their whole life, then they get excited. Yeah. <laughs> they got diamonds. Huh? <laughs> Di every, that is the wealthiest continent in the world. Everything is under their feet. Yep, yep. Okay? The Chinese know that's why the Chinese make deals. We go to war with people. The Chinese make deals. Trust me, the Chinese will be going to Afghanistan because all these electric cars, all these companies shutting down production right now right. And because they need this little chip, chip yep. and this little thing, whatever's in the ground in Afghanistan. Afghanistan has the second most in the world. Sitting in the ground with people living in the 17th century. It's going to be that and fresh water. Fresh water will be in demand. Okay? This is, I mean, this is what it is. So if you could be bought, remember Gehazi, the servant, right. mm -hmm. who couldn't keep up with the man of God? Yep, yep, yep. One time the man of God took it off her. Next time he said, we ain't taking nothing from him. Exactly. So what does he do? He doubles back. This is for you, Raven. He doubles back. Yeah. See, you got to keep up with leadership. You know, you got, oh, I know Pop Bishop. No, you don't. You don't know what God's telling me. That's what messed up Jahazi. Yeah, Elijah. He, he, he like, wait a minute, this man rich, this man offered him all this, he ain't going to take it? Right. I'll Not from it. him, because he tried to buy his healing. Yeah, sure did. He told him, no, nah, I don't want nothing from him. Right. He changing clothes. You still sick, homie. Check your fever. <laughs> you ain't going to get healed because you changing clothes. You can get healed when you go to that nasty river. That dirty water. That yep. dirty water. Yep. And get and dip yourself. Then you're going to get, what? I don't even know who I am. You're, yeah, you are. Oh, man, I'm going to say the N-word. You a sick fool. That's who you are. You somebody got a fever and the temperature ain't going away. Mm -hmm. Huh? You somebody coughing up blood. You got blood in your stool. Right. Remember that? Every you get beside yourself, you just shut your little body down. And when you see that blood in that puddle, now you think about that. Oh, don't worry. If God really, it ain't about you believing in God. It's just God believing in you. Don't Ooh. ever forget that. <laughs> he yet God if you don't never believe. That's right. And he, he controls you peeing, defecating, and breathing. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> yeah. No, you ain't getting healed bringing money. You don't get healed when you get in that nasty water. So Jehazi like, uh, I think I'll double back. Give me an outfit of yeah. some money. Right. I'll take it. You. He doubled back. Oh, he said, oh, oh, uh, my, my master changed his mind. Lied on And, you know, what yeah. you was offering? Yeah. And he became leprous. Sure did. That's in your Bible. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't ask. Everybody talking about coming, uh-uh. But if God send you. I believe he's going to send you some help. Yes. All those kids. Right. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, all these kids in church crying, those are those kids over there crying. Yeah. I'll mess with y'all now. Y'all like, whoa. -oh. <laughs> she said the children, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, well, we got order in here because whatever. Can you imagine all those kids with no order? Here come a nine. They bring in order and discipline and love. You cannot correct a child if you don't love the child. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's man. I, man, I'm just seeing this video of a 25 year old young woman who God trusts. Huh? Breathe. Yes. I can go home. Mm -hmm. He then offered the him devil... all that stuff. Jesus, like, no. Nah. What did Jesus tell him? Then Jesus said unto him. Get thee hence, Satan. Did he tell him goodbye? <laughs> Get thee hence. Yes. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I, I, but I, I said, Satan, I rebuke you. He just stayed. He wouldn't brought some more friends. You ain't got no word in you. Right. And then, uh oh, ooh, watch this, Deborah. Why should he go when you invited him in? <laughs> You don't want to answer the phone. Right. 
You the one told him to come over. Uh-huh. You the one told me you was going to witness. Come on, Bishop. With the Bible on the floor. Now you want him to leave? <laughs> see, you see, you didn't see Amen nowhere, did you? Amen pimped out. <laughs> amen like Dolomite. Amen got up out of here. <laughs> That's why you don't play with that. Hmm? You're going to entertain a devil, and then all of a sudden you're going to tell him this. He's like, I'm here now. I'm on, the, I'm on the love seat now. I don't have a seat next to me. Huh? You don't play with that. Oh, man, y'all. Look, I, you know what? Say wow. your confession when I get back. I don't want to hear it tonight. All right. Read. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So the him. devil left for a season. Read that. He left. <laughs> then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into the prison, he departed into Galilee. It reads another place for a season, which means he's going to come back. Okay? Now get Ecclesiastes 1 and 8, and we're going to be done. This is about Queen Nandi. And we want her to forever be in paradise. Amen. Because Satan will not intercept and become her inner ear. Ecclesiastes 1 and 8. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing. The, the eye is not satisfied with what? Seeing. Nor Even did, if your eyes got poked out, your imagination would still take you to hell. <laughs> okay. yes, sir. You might think you're spirit, but you know you can find what you want in the dark with no lights on. You'll feel for it. <laughs> See, Bronny, they, they just, you know, they... Come on now, let me take you down memory lane because I'm ready to go home now. You, you, you misplaced your pipe, but you found it in the dark. <laughs> you found your weed, find your pills. You dial somebody's number just by the touch of the tone. That's true. Yes, sir. All the street life, it was a storm. You still made over that man's house. You found your way. It's dark. Your lust told you where to turn at. Turn on high ball. It's the third house. Wow. They never had lights in that house. They never had lights. Is that MUD or is that OPP? That's it. Nah. Nah, she ain't here no more. All right. Well, there goes some of y'all. And you still found. Remember when your, 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 your alternator went back, your lights went on your car, you still made it home, didn't you? He went to the club with no lights in your car. You found your way in the dark. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to take you down memory lane. Slipping in the darkness. That was your whole life. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I get me one amen. <laughs> Verse one and eight, finish it up. All things are full of labor. Full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Wow. There you go. So if you chase your emotions, Makai, with all that brilliance, it will be wasted. With all that brilliance. All right? Let me talk to my young men before I go. That's what messes men up. There's always somebody built better, cuter, smarter, whatever, ever it is. The world's full of them. You got these old men in church. They can't do nothing. They are done. Those noodles slipping off the plate. 
that don't make them righteous because they can't do nothing. They have ripped and ran. And the men my age get so jealous. Why you got this and he got that, whatever. Well, that's because I didn't jump everything switching. I is never satisfied with sin. Hmm? And you end up broke. Look at, the, look at the ball player. That girl was chasing him when he was at Kentucky. She came to his game. Somebody that had been passed around by Drake and all of them. None of those men wanted her. The long list. Girl named Brittany Renner. She, this kid makes it to the league. She acts like she loves him, marries him. And he's going to be paying her child support. Found out she was pregnant and left him. No, some His name is P.J. Ward. Just Google it and look it up. No, it's not as much as they say. And he's heartbroken. My son knows his father. How heartbroken. And he's a joke. You know what happens when they go down the court and they playing? Yeah, you that fool that got played by a blunt that got passed around. Almost happened to Dirk for the Mavericks. He ran into a slick one. I get, but he had enough money to get up out of it. That's all it takes, men, is that one person. Mm -hmm. And it's over with. All it takes, Nandi, is that one man who don't want nobody else to have you. And you playing with him. And he's following you and tracking you. Remember the girl that was a Playboy Bunny of the year? Yeah. And she ran, didn't know she was beautiful. From a little small town thing in Iowa, South Dakota somewhere. Just dropped dead. Didn't even look real. And that producer saw her, left his wife, built a world around her. But she forgot about Mr. Insecure. How dare you leave me? He said, let me meet, with, meet up with you. Dorothy Stratford. Yeah. Let me meet with, with you one more time. Killed Took a shotgun and blew her head off. Yeah. So when you use your beauty, when you use whatever, you can't see the future. You don't want nobody to want you more than they want God. That's right. Are you in hell on earth? Come on, Bishop. You don't even play with it. You don't even play. Look at the bat. Look at the football player. The waitress who was twenty some years old. His family sat at that table. She knew his wife, his kids. She waited on him. She came after him anyway. Yep, she did. He took her out of a key and put her in an Escalade. Then he didn't want her no more. So Glenda, she followed him. She followed him. He going to trade her in for another young thing. She's like, I ain't going back to no Kia. You can't sit in no Escalade and go back to a Kia. Seeks is different. You ain't heard. And I'm going to steal one and find out. I ain't getting you out. Just take my word for it. The Seeks is different. So, you know what she did? Here's my theory. She like, I mean, he big dude on swole. So, if he'd have just tied, come on, he just pulled a, she'd have pulled a gun on He could have took the gun from her. Might have went off. No, I believe she gave him some, kicked that chemical off, made him sleepy, and like, you know what? If it ain't me, it ain't nobody. That's what his eyes got him. And then, to top it off, if you see how fine Miss McNair was, so wonder he didn't come up out the grave. She shot him, killed him, and then killed herself. Somebody rebuked their eyeballs right now. You've been looking at something that God, like, you don't even know what you're looking at. You don't even know what you're looking at. All right, you know what? Right. I'll be on Michigan Avenue in the morning. Somebody rebuked their eyeballs right now. You don't even know what you're looking at. You don't know. 
Somebody thank God for the will of God. Somebody thank God for saying no. Somebody thank God. Thank God, man. How many of us have God saved our life? Because we saw something and didn't see that it was a killer. Courtney, some people walked in heartbroken. They ain't heartbroken no more. They're thankful. I want my thankful people to praise God before I go home. I ain't heartbroken. I thank God he delivered me. I thank God. Look what I was about to run into. Come on, Brenda. I mean, that mental patient, your father would have killed that man. You know how nutty that boy is? Some of y'all looked at your old yearbook and went into prayer. Me like, you got to be kidding. They didn't know how bad they was going to look 20 years later. Like, whoo. What ugly stick hit them. Didn't know their mind was going to collapse. That was sin does. Your mind collapsed. Come on, Bobby. We, 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 got, we got some numbers on it. Man, they... <laughs> So in my yearbook, my, my school, I, they asked for photos, so I sent them one. I must have had 20 hits there one night. <laughs> Man, I ain't studying none of y'all. <laughs> I woke up next day, somebody viewed your profile, so, all in one night. <laughs> About 15 people, I know y'all look bad. Y'all should have, I should have put holiness, see? Uh, and they look bad, look ran through. Who used to be cute ain't even close to, who used to be cute ain't even close to playing. That's a, that's a bad detour. <laughs> Thank God for no. Thank God for it ain't your will. All right. All right. Ever head by? No, 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 no. Do not extend the service. <laughs> 